So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below. Hit the like button and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, welcome back to Come Again. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Funko Pop Movies 2016 Ghostbusters, number 304, Aaron Gilbert. I will also be reviewing, this is my wife's, I got for Christmas, got her for Christmas. The 10th Doctor, David Tennant, Funko Pop. Don't have the box, she threw it away. What are you going to do? So, and of course, right here, we have the last, my last Funko Pop review. Pop Television, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, number 381, Firestorm. This was my first Funko Pop. This is my wife's first Funko Pop. And this is my second. So let's get down to it, guys. And here are the figures in the collection. You have Patty Tolman, which is 302. Abby Yates, which is 303. Aaron Gilbert, 304. Jillian Holzman, which, which is a very popular character, which is 305. Kevin, played by Chris Hemsworth, 306. Uh, Gertrude Eldridge, 307. And Rowan's Ghost, which is 308. Compare this to my only other... Funko Pop figure so far. Firestorm from DC's Legends of Tomorrow, which is Pop Television 381. And it it's pretty close in size. You know, of course, Aaron Gilbert stands up a lot straighter. Uh, Firestorm has is crouched down a little bit. And of course, Aaron Gilbert has the black eyes as opposed to Firestorm who has the white eyes. Here's the bottom of the Funko Pop package. Uh, Funko Pops have become very popular in recent years. Uh, they aren't really toys. They're more collectibles. Um, I just recently started getting into Funko Pop. Uh, like I said, my first one was the Firestorm from Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, this is for ages 14 and up. However, I wouldn't see a problem with giving a younger kid <clears throat> any of these Funko Pops. There, there aren't really any small pieces you'd have to worry about. I purchased my wife the uh, 10th Doctor for Christmas of the Funko Pop. So in fact, I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab that real quick and show it to you guys. All right, so here he is, the 10th Doctor, purchased for my wife for Christmas. No real articulation at all, other than the head swivel. Uh, his sonic screwdriver is pretty small. So you do have to, there are some minor things you have to worry about with younger kids. Uh, like you wouldn't want them to bite the sonic screwdriver off. Uh, but other than that, and they're pretty solid characters. Like I said, use your best judgment when buying a Funko Pop character. If you see anything too small in their hands, like Sonic Screwdriver of the 10th Doctor, probably wouldn't be good to get it for anyone under the age of four. Um, someone like Firestorm, who has no small pieces. Um... I'd say would be good for just about anyone. However, the fire on his head um, might be a little pokey. So maybe uh, maybe anyone under the age of three, I wouldn't get this for. 
Now I already went over the packaging. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I will be putting her, I may put her back in the package. I don't know. I have a shelf of Ghostbusters collectibles. So I don't think the box would fit on that shelf. I may still keep the box, but just take her out. A lot of nice looking detail on this figure. As you can see, the fingerless gloves. There is a little bit of paint problems on the knuckles there. But with such a small figure, it is very difficult to be completely accurate with paint. The head does move all the way around. As with most Funko Pops, she does have the black eyes. She has bangs. Brown hair, ponytail, just like Aaron Gilbert had in the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. As you can see, she has her hand placed on her hip. All the fine little detail of this figure is just amazing how they were able to do it. They've got the No Ghost logo painted right on her shoulder. And it is... There is a little bit of paint error to it, but they were able to get it for the most part. I'll let it go. I'll let it slide since it is such a small area. But as you can see, I don't know if you can tell or not, but the eyes and mouth are painted on the no ghost symbol. You've got her pockets. Even the studs on her uh, gloves are painted. Nice little silver paint, silver and orange paint job on the reflective surface of her jumpsuit. The studs on her boots are painted really nicely. They even got all the little details of the proton pack. Let's go ahead and turn her head so you can see that proton pack a little bit better. As I said before, with my Abby, Ga Abby Yates figure, uh, the Positron Collider... Or the wand is not the actual wand they use in the movie. Uh, this is actually the the original proton pack wand from the original Ghostbusters. Because in the movie, if you recall, they had to actually hold it from the top and from the barrel. And this it seems like the handle is there as well as there, which is just like the original Ghostbusters Proton ones. Very nice figure. See how she stands up to the 10th Doctor. She does have a little bit of a balance issue because she has such a uh, narrow stance and she's just a little bit shorter than the 10th Doctor. And because she's so top heavy, um, I, I think I'm going to have to keep her in the package, in the box, in order to display her. There's just no way to display her on a flat surface without leaning her against something, you know. Um, she She's going to have to be in her, as you can see. Well, actually, I didn't even see this before. She does come with a stand. It's a clear stand, has little pegs. There we go. All right. So she will stand. They did include a base for her. Let's see if I can get this there. They do include a display stand for her, which they obviously put right there. Very hard to see, especially considering it's a clear plastic. But I'm just pleased that they did include the stand. Overall, it's a great, great character. Lines up uh, great with all the other Funko Pop vinyls. Um, great attention to detail. Um, this is, of course, only my second uh, Funko Pop uh, vinyl figure. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying them. I'd like to find some more of the Ghostbusters vinyls to complete my collection. 
and I believe I'm going to be looking for Voltron as well as a few more of the Firestorm figures. There's multiple versions of Firestorm out there. So now let's go over David Tennant, the 10th Doctor. If you aren't familiar with Doctor Who, Doctor Who is a BBC television series. It's been on since the 1960s, I believe. So as you can see, the Doctor has his standard black eyes, his scruffy hair. David Tennant is, he's a chameleon when it comes to acting. Um, you see him on Doctor Who and he looks a lot younger than he does in person. You see him on any other TV show and he looks a lot older. He looks like he's in his upper 40s in most movies and in person and stuff. Whereas on Doctor Who, when he's playing the Doctor, he looks like he's about 20 to 25 years old, really. I don't know a whole lot about uh, the David Tennant Doctor. I came into the series with Matt Smith. Uh, David Tennant is, of course, my wife's favorite Doctor. Um, Peter Capaldi has become my favorite Doctor. Uh, but as you can see, he has his... Famous trench coat, sonic screwdriver, blue suit, white shirt, and brown tie with his, looks like Converse tennis shoes. Which is the style that David Tennant Doctor went with. Each Doctor, when they regenerate, has their own specific, specific style. Which helps refresh the character all the time. So you don't get the same personality with every character, ac actor who plays the Doctor. As you can see, just like with David Tennant's Doctor, he does have the blue light on the sonic screwdriver. Matt Smith's was green, I believe. And I believe um, Peter Capaldi's is yellow. I could be wrong, but... And again, with all Funko Pops... His head turns all the way around. And just looking at him, you can tell they got the hairstyle perfectly to be able to uh, see him as David Tennant. Uh, the paint detail on this character, there's a little bit of paint bleeding along the hairline. But other than that... Not a whole lot to be worried about. I haven't seen any other spots that show a careless paint job. This was made in 2015 in Vietnam. You can find more of these on Funko.com. And I think that's about it for The Doctor and for Aaron Gilbert. So, uh, yeah. Great characters, great toys, great collectibles. And if you want to just decorate your desk or a shelf, they're great for that. So there you have it. My Doctor Who and Aaron Gilbert Funko Pop TV and movie review. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.